Now let's look at the day sheet. We can get to the day sheet by hovering over the billing tab and making the selection. Or while looking at any of these billing pages, we can actually see that they're also listed here on the left hand side menu. So you can just make your selections here rather than having to go to the top of the screen. The day sheet is a place where you can get all of your daily numbers. So after you're done for a day and you want to know what the collections were, you know, what was billed out, any insurance payments received, the adjustments made, and patient payments received, you can source all of that information here. The default date range is one day, hence the name day sheet. However, we can stretch that out to 31 days in case you need to report on an entire month. We also have other filters available. We can search by a particular patient, filter based on your different offices, the exam rooms within those offices, and so forth. Once you've set everything, if you make changes to these filters, make sure to hit the update button before we take a look at our final tally numbers. The grand totals tab is actually going to show you those final numbers in a very sort of succinct way. The debit column or section shows us everything that's been billed out to both insurance payers and patients and the payments that they've made. The credit section shows us monies collected from the insurance companies. The adjustment section will show us any insurance adjustments or provider discounts given. And then lastly, the patient payment section shows us all of our point of service collections. So the total sum of co-pays and uh, payments towards deductibles. If you'd like more specifics on anything, all you have to do is click on the corresponding tab. So if I click on the credits and adjustments tab, it will show me all of the uh, insurance payments received, and that's gonna be in the credit column. It'll also show me any adjustments uh, that have been made, and that's gonna be in this column here. And there's also reasons or notes for those adjustments. The patient payment tab lists all payments received by patients. So we can filter based on posted date or method of payment or the person who actually posted this payment, the creator. And then here it shows us the name of the patients, dates of service, insurance claim IDs, our specific providers if you're in a multi-provider practice group, the office. and and all this other information as well. The charges tab shows all charges for the listed date range. It's going to show all debits and in the notes section it's going to have the procedural codes with the descriptions listed. Here we can filter based on posted date or actual date of service. Under the action button, or the drop down menu, we can print everything in the day sheet in its entirety based on the filter set, or just print the current section, basically the page that we're looking at right now. We can also export everything, or pr uh, export what's on the screen right now. And anytime we uh, conduct an export, or initiate an export from the system, will receive that in a comma separated value or .csv file in the message center denoted by the envelope icon here. If we click on advanced export, we're actually able to apply the normal filters such as the different offices, exam rooms, specific patients, but we can actually stretch out that date range further than 31 days. So if you need to look at these kind of numbers for an entire quarter or two quarters or an entire year, you'd be able to do that. We'd hit export and again, we'd get that CSV file or spreadsheet in the message center.